step in this discovery process involves appropriate and deep review of the franchise documentation that you're going to be expected to sign, the, the actual franchise agreement, and prior to that, the franchise disclosure document. This is a, a very detailed document that provides you with everything from um, anticipated investment costs to get into the franchise, historical financials, and all kinds of legal stuff that they are required to disclose to you. Uh, it is a it can be a daunting document and so having legal help to review that and make sure you understand what's in it is something that i always advise my clients to to use or to see um, same thing goes with the franchise agreement while most franchise agreements do not have a lot of flexibility for negotiation it is really essential in my opinion that you have a legal expert helping you review that document to make sure you understand what it is you're committing to um, the same thing goes with financing Financing a business, particularly something that's brand new, is not something that every bank will do. Uh, oftentimes, SBA or Small Business Administration uh, loans come into play here. Uh, there are a lot of banks that offer those, but not all of them have a very good understanding of the franchise world, which is why at the Franchise Consulting Company, we have curated a list of partnerships with both legal firms as well as financing uh, organizations that specialize in franchise financing so that you're not gonna be spinning your wheels trying to explain what it is you're gonna to do to some local bank. Um, although certainly you're welcome to take this opportunity to a local bank, but I think you'll find that the partnerships we have and bring to the table provide significant value, can work a lot faster, and really do understand the subject matter of what is involved in getting into a franchise business.